Hello everyone, welcome to the first part of making our water crisis composition and the first thing we're going to do is get our background once you've got all your images from the Google Drive. So first things first, I'm going to go into my background layer and I'm going to go to my layers and I'm going to import from a file. Hopefully this will go to the area that I've saved all my um, work into, all the images that I'm going to be working with um, for this project. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the desert drought water crisis topic. Okay, I'm going to open that one up. That's my background. Now I'm going to use control and my mouse wheel to zoom out. And then I'm going to use shift and my mouse wheel. And that's going to allow me to just move from side to side and bring that to the center. So to use shift, side to side, control to zoom in and out. So there's my um, background. Now you'll notice that I've now got three layers over here and I've got three layers. I don't need three layers, so I can actually just go and delete this and then I can delete my background layer as well. So that's my background. Um, I'm going to go and import my grass now because what I wanted to do was if you look at the Firefly pages, I've got my grass here um, and I'm going to change the transparency or the word that they use is, is opacity. And that means I'm going to make it a little bit see-through. I'm also going to change the horizon of the grass as well. You'll see it, you'll see it come up very flat. So I'm going to go to my layers. I'm going to import a new, a new image from a layer. And here's my grass as well. So immediately you can see straight away that the grass is actually going in the wrong direction. So it's, the grass is actually pointing towards um, that direction. Actually, what I want my grass to do is I want my grass to follow that um, the um, the point um, on the horizon, the vanishing point. And so what I'm going to do now is just bring that into the center. And then I'm going to grab the side like this, and then I'm going to edit my image and it flips it over. And then I'm going to go and bring this back like that. And you can see that I now have an image where that is flipped and the horizon matches more or less. What I'm going to do is just bring that to the center because I'm going to start playing around with this now. In paint.net there is a fabulous tool in the adjustments, in my layers, sorry, and it is called the rotate and zoom um, function. Now you can see that it was preset before but yours won't be so this world here allows me to um, change the orientation of my image and the great thing about this is that I can kind of get it to match more or less with the horizon that I have and the vanishing point let's just go and say okay to that I can always undo I've got my I've got my history over here so I can always undo um yep that I mean that will do fine and then I can bring that up and I can edit it a little bit later so you may have to edit yours again so I'm going to go into my layers again and I'm just going to go and change my horizon slightly now and bring that back and just tilt it slightly so that you can see that this edge here matches this edge here my horizons must match and I'm going to get that like that that'll do a fine bit of editing and so what I'll do now is I press look at my keyboard and press escape. Escape is normally in the top left hand corner. So I'm going to press escape like that and get rid of the marching ants. Next job is in this layer here. We're going to change the opacity is what we talked about. And we change the properties and the opacity. The opacity is here. and I've got a little slider. Um, I'm going to go and just bring that through so I can see like grass and um the drought underneath because it's important we see the drought because this is a water crisis after all 
And then I'm going to go and get my eraser. And if I just hover my mouse over there, you can see the shortcut is E. So I'm going to use the shortcuts on my on my uh, keyboard. When you press eraser, you've got a different. You've got some options. You can change the size of your brush. I would go for a larger brush here, probably about 300, maybe 375, maybe 400 pixels. That'll do me. Um, and I want to bring the hardness right down to about 4% on this one because what I want to do is just take off this hard edge here and I want to just blend these edges in. So what I'm going to do is just take that edge off and you'll start to see that why I have the grass image so large across the page is I just want to take that edge off so that it looks like the rain eventually will be falling on this patch of the desert or the Serengeti or the, uh, the savannah here and it's keeping life supported in this corner here so that's it more or less see-through and more or less blended and that's it for this bit next bit will be adding some trees i think good luck <laughs>